At a council meeting today, the commissioners for the Kaipata District Council confirmed that it would be taking legal action against former Chief Executive Jack McKercher and also the Auditor General. Now, since McKercher left council in October 2011, there have been repeated calls from ratepayers for him to be held accountable for his role in the botched Mangafai Community Wastewater Scheme. Commissioners today noted that the statute of limitations meant that council could only try to hold Mr McKercher accountable for his actions during the last six years. Uh, we determined that the council should pursue a claim against the former chief executive and we instruct the chief executive to work with the council's advisers to prepare a statement of problem against the former chief executive and subsequent filing with the Employment Relations Authority. Council also accepted strong legal advice that there was no legal basis on which Kaipata District Council could bring damages against former councillors and on that basis the council would not be taking any legal action against the former mayors and elected members involved with the Mangafai scheme. Where we reluctantly accept advice that there is no robust legal basis on which council could bring damages claims against its former elected members. Also at today's meeting, commissioners accepted a staff recommendation that there were sufficient grounds to mount a legal case against the Auditor General for negligence. Now this is relating to council audits conducted in the three years from 2006 to 2009. In December 2013, the current Auditor General, Lynn Provost, admitted that work undertaken for Kaipara uh, prior to 2010 did not meet professional audit standards or the standards that she herself expected. Is that we agree that the Council should pursue a claim against the Auditor General and instructs the Chief Executive to work with Council's advisers to complete a statement of claim for discussion with the Auditor General and subsequent filing with the High Court following expiry of the limitation period included in the standstill agreement. In light of today's developments, Chair of Commissioners John Robertson said that the Auditor General would be formally invited to reconsider her previous decision not to hold any elected members to account. That we direct the Chief Executive to ask the Auditor General to review her position in relation to a claim under sections 44 to 47 of the Local Government Act 2002 in light of the recent high court decision in the Mangafai Ratepayers and Residents Association Judicial Review Proceedings. For the Kaipata Lifestyler, I'm Joanne Speechley. To keep up to date with community developments, please visit our website.